Hi, I'm Kayleigh Dowd and today I'm going to give you five tips about how to get the best from a bait booster. Tip one, so a lot of fisheries that we go to this day and age, especially commercials, it is fishery pellets only. So it's one of them where you've got to have a think about it. Everybody's going to have to buy the same pellets and if you just put water on them, like everybody else, tip it off and use them, there's no standout. So what I like to do with mine is I like to add a bit of bait booster to them. I'm going to give you a quick run through how I do this and why I do this. So first of all, I've got a tub of water here, so I'm just going to lake water into a tub and then take my Bonoffi booster. My favourite is this one, I love the smell of it. So pour a generous amount into the water and then just mix it round and as you see it will just disperse in there nice and even and make a nice yellow water that smells lovely. And once I've done that, so if you take your fishery micros and just cut a nice little corner of them and then put in here enough just for a session. So quarter of a bag, half a bag. And then what I do is I take my Bonoffi water and literally just cover the micros. So as you can see, they're all in there nice and covered and what I do now is I leave them for roughly two minutes so I don't look at a watch or anything obviously it's quite nice and warm warm water as well so it'll absorb in there quite fast last thing you want to do is leave them with that water because some pellets will turn to mush so that's not what you want you want them to be individual pellets still with a bit of soaked banoffee in them so the reason I like to use a banoffee obviously you can get different flavours this one's my favourite and it smells lovely so that added attraction of when you ship out with your pellets, fishing your expander or whatever you want on hook, you put them micros in there and the smell just draws the fish in. So we'll just wait a little bit now, it's been a minute. As you can see they're already starting to absorb. And then once we've done that I've got, as you can see, a fine mesh net here and I like to tip the micros into there and then just drain off the water just so they're not sat in that excess bit of water. If you try doing it with your hand or anything like that, there's normally always some water stays at the bottom and they're fine to start with on top but then when you start digging around and getting towards the bottom when you've used them, they can start going a bit mushy and that's not what you want. So we'll give them a, another 30 seconds or so and then we'll do that, we'll tip the water off of them and they'll be ready to go. I'll get me now you can see they're uh, puffing up quite nice it takes a little bit longer in winter so it still works just as well in winter does this but it does take a little bit longer the water's a bit colder and the don't seem to absorb as fast whereas in summer it does happen quite a bit quicker so i reckon we'll be there or thereabouts now actually tip them in there make sure there's not left you'll see the water coming out of them i like to give them a little bit of a squeeze not going to lose any make sure you haven't got any holes in your nets because it's not good at this point or a net with big holes because it'll go straight through and then as you can see there they're perfect what I will recommend is put some water on your side tray especially when it's red hot like it is today because when these are in the sun they will dry out a little bit so all it takes then is literally dip your hands in a bit of water or banoffee if you want and just rehydrate them so that I mean just move them round and re-wet them and then they'll stay perfect for you throughout the day. Tip number two and a great little bit of advice whenever you're fishing a method feeder just add a little bit of bait booster dip it in and it gives you that instant bit of attraction as you can see the neck on the bottles is purposely designed for this as well so it's that bit wider to be able to dunk it in pull it out and you've got extra attraction there so I'll give you a quick run through I will go about preparing mine so here I've just got my micros, sit them there without them falling off hopefully. Then put my bait just in the bottom, add my micros on, just as you'd fill a, a normal method feeder. Press it in and there we go. So that's my perfect little method feeder there. And then what we do, so rather than just casting it out when it's like that, literally just dip it in your bait booster. Let all the little drops drip off because it can get a little bit messy if you, if you take your time. 
you'll be all right. And then as you can see, that's perfect. Got a nice little bit, added attraction, and hopefully it'll get you that bit of a quicker bite and put more fish in your net. Tip number three. So a really common way of fishing this day and age, especially on commercials, is ground bait down the edge. A lot of us do it and we've all been there. We've had issues where ground bait's obviously flying around in that bit of a deeper water. So I'm gonna help you overcome that issue. So literally, we're gonna mix as ground bait as we would do normally for fishing down the edge. And by adding a bit of this bait booster, so it's really underused for this use is this bait because it's really heavy and dense and obviously really well scented. If you put it on your ground bait after you've mixed it, it just helps it stick to the bottom with the weight in it. So it's a really good tip. So I'm going to show you now how I mix my ground bait and then how much we put on afterwards and hopefully it'll bring you some extra results. So what I do now, so I've got some crushed expander and a one pint tub. So literally, if you, if you go just less than one to one, so by that I mean if I fill this one pint pot up, so that's literally, you see, just about level. And then if I just underfill slightly, so as you can see there, it's just underfilled and add that again. So one to one, especially this crushed expander, I won't recommend it with all ground baits, but this one's been tried and tested many times. And it does look horrible to start with, but with it being crushed expander pellets, it does expand a lot and it does take on all the water. So if we mix that round like that, looks horrible, you definitely need to riddle it. And literally, we'll leave that now, so we'll leave it for five, ten minutes, have a look at it, and then it, I promise you it'll be perfect. Put it through a riddle and we'll add a bit of that and we'll see the finished result. So we've left that. 10 minutes or so now and as you can see it's broke up and it looks lovely so the next step to do is shove it through a riddle so literally all onto there and then just wiggle it round so make sure you get these lumps out so that's just where the water collects push them through There we go, and we're left with a nice mix. So as you can see there now, it's all nice, no lumps, and that's good as it is, but it's not perfect. So what we do then, a bit of bait booster, and you don't need loads of this. So if you just go around, put in there, and then mix it in. So what that'll do, as I've said, it'll make it nice and heavy all sink to the bottom and stay down there as well as giving that extra bit of attraction with the smell as well. So there we are. Mix all that in. It'll go in quite nice. And that's perfect. As you can see, you can feed it in a little ball, put it in loose in a pot, just press it down a bit and that'll sink to the bottom and you'll catch a load of fish over that. Tip number four is all about boosting your expander pellets with a bait booster. So I'm going to give you a quick run through how I prepare them and what, what I use. So to start with, make sure you've got a little pot. So I always like to do this the night before if possible and keep them in a the fridge. But if not, in summer you'll get away with doing them on the morning. But in winter I'd definitely recommend them the night before at least. So I like to get my little pot, get my expanders and literally put enough in the pot that'll do you for a session. Then what I like to do is just got some lake water here and then I'll add a little bit of bait booster. So I'll take my bait booster, add a nice glug of that in there and mix it around. There we go, if you mix it around you'll see it distributes in the water and turns it a lovely nice binoffy colour. Then literally all I do is pour the water, make sure that it covers all the ex expanders, and then if you've got a lid, pop your lid on and then pop that in a fridge or even on a garage floor or somewhere nice and cool and they'll be perfect in the morning. And a bit like Blue Peter style, here's some I prepared earlier. So these are ones that I did last night, so I've got my little tub here, tip them in there, 
And as you can see, they're lovely, nice and soft and ready to catch loads of fish. Tip number five. So a couple of the bait boosters, as well as adding extra attraction and weight to your bait, also dye your bait a different colour. So that is, we've got the, the Fluoro and also the Power Scopex. So the Fluoro goes a lovely pinky red colour when added to bait such as meat, corn, pellets, any expander pellets, anything that will absorb will change colour. So I'm going to demonstrate now with a fluoro. You don't need a lot of this. So literally just a dribble onto some expander pellets I've got and a dribble onto some micros I've got. So literally just mix them round and as you can see they've got a lovely pink colour. Same with these micros. So mix them round and it's just that extra little bit of standout colour, bait, flavour and it's all mixed in. There we go and even with the micro pellets you can add a dash of colour just to your normal fishery pellets, you don't have to do them all and just that odd fleck of colour sometimes stands out and it attracts that extra fish into your swim. So there you go, that's my five best tips how to get the most out of a bait booster. Hope you've enjoyed it, put it into practice, I'm sure you'll have your favourite, which one you like, you decide and hopefully it'll put more fish in your net.